And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to move on to bout number three. Scheduled for five three-minute rounds, this full tie rules contest matched at 63 kilograms. And let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner, weighing in at 62.4 kilograms, he fights out of Super Gym in Nutswood. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Mike Bateman! Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Mike Bateman. <laughs> and facing Mike this evening, his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 61.1 kilograms, he fights out of the GFC gym in Bury. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Mike Estlick! Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Mike Esplick! And this boat scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Very, very interesting clash indeed between Mike Eslick from the GFC clamp and Mike Bayman took the fight on short notice from the uh, Super Gym in Nutsford. Both well respected gyms. Our referee is Mr. John Pop Kiat Van Tip. This is under 65 kilo fight. An A class fight. And it's going to be very interesting. We'll see. Aggressive Eslick. Really likes it, loves it. Bateman, very quiet, unassuming character. Very one. But technically skilled. This will be a good fight. S. Lake's had three fights on Yorkow previously. Uh, Bateman, very powerful young man. Good start from, from S. Lake, body kicking going southpaw. And he'll use that to a lot in the fight. Refereed him on a show towards the end of last year. Likes that drop in southpaw. Let's see if Mike can find an answer to it. Scoring well with it and scoring early. Good puncher, Mike Bateman. Very powerful young man. Yeah. And this layback there from Bateman comes in with a leg kick.
both really pleased to be on this big show. Consummate professionals, yeah. good people outside the ring. Very few words, Eslick, say much. But he loves the game. Still very young, loads of talent. Yeah. Good, good fight for the future. Scoring well with that left leg early as well. Staying in Southport now. Orthodox fighter, but can fight in Southport. Essex got the better distance in the two already, yeah. Kevin. Yeah. Scoring with the body kick, laying back. Good push kick from the front leg. Bateman more methodical, isn't he, walking yeah. in? Needs to block that left kick, grab it, or block it with his shin. He's backing Eslick up every now and again, but the better work coming in early on from Eslick. Converting back to Orthodox to close in, staying long on the kicking in Southport. This will be an interesting exchange in the clinch. Yeah, good knees it's either side. It's very strong. Depends how strong. I've never seen Mike really take. He's all right, strong though, Kevin, but he's scoring, isn't he, Eslick, yeah. with the knee? Quicker of the two. Good block there from Bateman, just lifting the leg up to stop the left knee. Coming in from Eslick. Needs to look to lay back there or catch or move off it. It's a bit slow, Bateman, Kevin. He is. Too slow. Early on in round one, Eslick's got really the, the better time in the better yeah. distance. Better speed. Yeah, good kick in Southpaw again. Not really phased by that, Mike. from Mike Bateman, Eslick coming forward, unfazed, but Eslick scoring well. Yeah. Needs to do more, Bateman. Yeah. Good round for Eslick. Almost 10 seconds. Seconds out. Round two. Round two then. Eslick in the black and gold. Starting off with a lead leg kick. The blue gloves, the quicker of the two in this first round, in the second round. Getting really good range in that south yeah, ball like uh, left kick. He's at distance, he goes to Southpaw, he boxes inside, close in orthodox, switching very well, giving Bateman a lot to think about. And Bateman's not really answered the test at the moment, so far in these early exchanges in the, in the second round. Eslick gone to orthodox again. Right elbow. Good score, but no cut. Just needs a bit more movement, Mike Bateman, because Eslick's movement's far too good at the moment. 
Single shot's no good for Bateman. Twos and threes. He's backing up in a straight line as well. Yeah. Bateman, he needs to be the aggressor. He's not. He's letting Eslick dictate the pace at the distance that he's comfortable with doing. Unanswered kicks from Messlick, really scoring well. Yeah, nice. Bateman needs to find some life in his shots. Too pedestrian, really, too much too slow. Single shot from Bateman. At uh, a distance, Kevin. Yeah. Scores back. Eslick taking a really nice lead in this fight. Yeah. He could do this all day, couldn't he? Yeah. That hurt Mike Bateman. Yeah. That Bateman's really hurt, hurt him. That arm is taking some punishment. The left kick that goes across him, he's taking it across his body, he's taking it across his arm. That his arms, arms are coming down now as yeah. well, Bateman. That arm's dropping and dropping and dropping. He doesn't want to catch it, he doesn't want to move it. He's just taking it. And if this carries on the way it's going, this isn't going past round three. No, it's not. Mike Bateman will get stopped. Changing size. Oh, he got hurt in the knee to the body. Eslick really going through the motions. He's got to watch himself, though, Eslick, as he goes yeah. in here. Bateman could try and whip an elbow in. He recovered well, though. He got hurt and he didn't go down. He's carrying that right arm gingerly. Very uncomfortable. Essek looks good here, doesn't he? You've got yeah, to give the very, kid very good. He's a great talent for the future. Yeah, he is. Very, very intense kid as well. Bateman backed up all the way across the ring, though. Just down the body, Essek. Doesn't need to go to the head. No. Getting elbow happy. His A class fight. Bateman needs to just step up again. He's got to lead with that jab. Should pull him out now, I think. Not got anything to answer. As he battle, look at this. Rick Barnell, have a look at this. He's not doing anything, is he, Bateman? Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out. Round three. Round three then. I mean, again, Eslick attacking with that very strong left kick. All Eslick needs to do is stay on that. Bateman's arm looks an absolute mess. Doesn't look like he can use it at all. He's going to have to start kicking more, Mike Bateman, because his arms... He looks bigger than the two as well, doesn't he, Kev? He does. Good block there from Bateman. I mean, fair play to him for taking it last minute. and, and sort Yeah, of he did. He did fair play to him, but, you know, taking nothing away from Mike. Eslick, Eslick does nothing. look a class above at the moment. Yeah, he does. 
And I think the way this is carrying on, this might not go the distance. No. He's getting hit too easily. And that left side on the left side for Eslick, the left kick scoring beautifully. He was lucky to get away with the body shot that he uh, nearly went down from a count from yeah, he did. in round two. And Eslick's range and distance in is just a lot, lot tidier. It's not enough, is it? Bateman's not got enough for this kid. No. He looks despondent, doesn't he, as well, Kev? He does. Bateman. And he's, he's grimacing and wincing Turn every off. time his arm... I said that arm was in punishment. I said that arm was hurt. I think this is over, Vin. Yeah. It should be. Well, that was a good performance there uh, by Eslick. Four wins really on was. Yoko for the young man. Four wins. Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, it's not four, it's three, I think. Let me see. I stand corrected. Four wins, fair play to Eslick. Um, Mike took this fight seriously as he does every single one. Bateman, this wasn't enough. Very good performance by Eslick, superb. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, please, a massive round of applause for both fighters. But after one minute and 34 seconds of round number three, the boxer in the blue corner is unable to continue. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner in the red corner, Mike Estlick. And your appreciation, please, for Mike Bateman.